What's up, Ablaze Youth Ministry? Pastor Glover here, coming to you again. I want to give a shout out to our pastor and first lady for being the type of leaders that they are, uh, always ready to challenge things and and in, in, uh, invoke innovative things into the ministry, asking what our opinion and our thoughts are so that uh, it, it's not like they have to be the smartest people in the room, although they are pretty uh, brilliant people. So we appreciate them all constantly praying for them and, and asking God to do miraculous things in their lives, not just financially, but just things that we don't even know that may be going on with them. Bless their children. I pray that their children uh, continue to get the education that they that they uh, need even greater than they would have gotten if they were actually in school. So <clears throat> I just call down blessings upon them, Lord, because I, I really believe that uh, the heart of pastor, and trust me, if I did not believe pastor had a heart for God, I could not follow him. So I'm just being transparent with you. Um, getting to the matter at hand. Cafe Talk has kicked off and we were supposed to be announcing right now our next week's guests, but unfortunately we fell behind on, on getting that information out. So um, we may not have a guest for next week. It may be just me and Miss Cheryl or me and Mr. Chris or someone, but we'll do Cafe Talk uh, on next week and then we'll announce the next week, the following week's guests. We want to make sure that we've given everybody enough time to uh, prepare themselves for some of the conversation and topics that we may be talking about. Most of it is just hearing from you. It's just hearing your heart, hearing what you have to say about today's issues. That be church, that be the coronavirus, that be being locked up in the house, that be getting an opportunity to play games more now, and then actually being okay. The parents is like buying the games. Now, matter of fact, they had it on the news that says, you know, playing games or video games is it can be good to stimulate, continue to stimulate the mind. Now, at first they was telling us, we well, sitting down in front of the games too much. But anyway, nonetheless, we're going to be coming at you. We're going to be coming at you, talking with you, chilling with you. Just, you know, I just want to love on you all. And I, I believe the people want to hear from the young people. When we come out of this now, when we talked about this, especially the unapologetic uh, praises. We talked about this where what this looks like, where you all are taking over the youth ministry. Hey, it starts right now. This is an opportunity for us to step forward and show pastor what does it look like for the youth ministry to have a youth ministry stand alone. So I'm looking forward to seeing what we do and grow together through this new uh, uh, avenue that we are, uh, are experiencing. Not new to y'all. Y'all been doing this Facebook and all that stuff, but to new to me, I'm, I'm getting older, you know, and, and, Y'all need to show me some things. Don't leave, don't leave your pastor. Don't leave your pastor out there like that. Come on, y'all. Come on. Seriously. Anyway, love you all. Look forward to seeing you all uh, on the next go round. Um, and uh, um, don't forget, you're in the main sanctuary uh, this um, Sunday. So tune in live stream. Although you still will have your lessons later on in, the, in that uh, later on in that day. I love you guys. I sure miss you guys. I drove by the youth. Uh, Saint, I drove by the United Center yesterday. I had the urge to go in there so bad. Not that I can't, but I, I just I didn't have any need to be in there at that moment. But I wanted to go in uh, and just get that feeling of being there like I, like we were before. And we're gonna get back to that. So. Keep praying, you all. Keep studying. Keep reading your Bible. Keep loving each other. Keep reaching out to each other. And God will continuously bless us in our um, hibernation time. Love you all. And I'll see you all next time on Cafe Talk.